Hello and welcome to your developer next door. Uh, in this series we will kind of go through just my regular development process. Um, today we have kind of an old project. Uh, I worked on it a little over a year ago. Um, just kind of like a side thing. Had an idea, kind of ran with it. Um, and we are going to see if we can update it, if it's something that we can maybe try to publish to, um, to the store. Uh, it is a virtual reality. Uh, initially, it was targeted for the Oculus Rift. Uh, we're going to implement like the Vive input utility to see if uh, we can also publish it for maybe the Steam, Steam store, um, or like the Vive Focus, things like that. Uh, so let's jump right in. Have the project open here, and I just updated it to a more recent Unity. Uh, I don't really, I haven't looked at this project for an entire year. I did import the Vive input utility here, and I updated the Oculus uh, package. I don't even have a scenes folder. Where is the main scene? This is terrible. If you guys see some stuff that isn't quite right, um, I worked on this a long time ago. <laughs> Don't worry about it, all right? Also, it was uh, kind of on the fly, so if some of the scripts are really messy, um, we'll kind of we'll kind of go through it. If we can find. Maybe I did the demo scene. <laughs> yes, this is correct. So I just got this uh, this garden asset from the asset store. Uh, it's just a garden, kind of toony. Uh, it's called Toon Garden, of course. I kind of liked it. it, gave me some inspiration. Uh, this game was called Just Blow It. There's like a title thing that I made for it. Uh, and what you did was, I was kind of aiming it towards like the meditation kind of VR apps. Uh, so you just have like a wand, like a bubble wand, an infinite bubble wand here. Uh, and you would just put it up to your mouth and blow bubbles. And that was the whole game. You just watch the bubbles float around and that was it. I uh, <clears throat> I went like all the way through it with uh, with the Oculus. Uh, did the VR checks? I don't remember what they're called. The uh, their guidelines uh, for publishing. Went through everything. Uh, made through, made sure everything ran well, and tried to publish it. Uh, but of course, it's not really a game. So uh, so they were like, you know, it meets all the guidelines, but it, there's nothing to it. You just blow bubbles. So. So this is why we're coming back to it. Hopefully we can make like a real game out of it, or like a real meditation experience or something like that. Kind of have a couple ideas, a couple directions we can go. Maybe let's see if it still works with the updated Oculus um, here. Should go to the Rift. Is not working. <clears throat> and you know, I don't think it will work since I updated all the Oculus packages and everything. Um, but I, I think I have an old build of it that uh, I can kind of show you what it did. What it did. Here it is. Just below it. I thought that was a pretty clever name. Hopefully it still runs well. And yeah, I'll probably try to keep the talking to a minimum when I'm in the rift, just in case you guys can't hear me.
And that's it. That is the game. Pretty fun. I mean, you're just blowing bubbles, but kids blow bubbles all day, right? It's a great time. Okay, let's get back into Unity here. So that's the idea. Now, so that's kind of like one of the core game mechanics and we need to make a game out of it now. Hmm, I have a couple ideas. We could do like different colored, Different colored bubbles. I'm pretty sure the the shader that I use can do that. Bubble. I don't think that's the one we're using. I feel like that's the one we're using. Right there. Looks like a bubble, kind of. Can we change the color? Hmm. We can kind of change the color. Oh. Hmm. all these things do hmm okay I think we probably could do a color changer maybe it's kind of like a Simon says type of thing. I think we might be able to do like a different uh, shape, not just like your typical bubble. I don't know if any of you have watched SpongeBob, but uh, if you have, you are well aware that uh, you can blow bubbles any shape you want. Let's see. I must have been testing that out because I we have these. They're all kind of bulbousy, toony, I guess. <clears throat> Probably make a little bit of sense. Hmm. Does that look like a great vibe? What else do we have? Does a hamburger look like a hamburger? It could probably pass as a hamburger. You know, if we have like the actual icon or if we tell people that this is a hamburger, they'll probably understand that it's a hamburger. Ice cream. This might go over well. Mm, okay. So I think our whatever we want to be bubbles has to have like no edges you know this has a kind of a smooth edge but not quite smooth enough whereas like the hamburger I mean aside from like 
this plane, <clears throat> everything's kind of smooth. So not the ice cream. Pumpkin might work well. Looks like there's no hard edges there. Oh yeah, I'd say that looks like a pumpkin. Hmm. I think kind of like an apple, a pumpkin, and a tomato are going to be all too similar. So we need to pick one. Peak one. Uh, and I think the pumpkin's going to be a little bit more interesting with those ridges. Hopefully I don't talk too quiet. You know, when I'm kind of thinking I might uh, get a little bit quiet, but uh, I'll try to fix it. An egg will probably look like an egg. Cherry might be interesting. Yeah, I think cherry will work. Stems look a little weird, but I think it'll make sense. Okay. Okay, so we have an idea there. So that's one thing that we can do. Um, I also kind of want it, so like right now you're just standing right here in Blend Bubbles. I kind of want it where you can like walk around and maybe depending depending on where you are, um, you can do different things. So I don't know if you noticed, but in the When I was playing the actual game, there are <clears throat> some particles, but some particles that are butterflies. And I was thinking, this gave me the idea that maybe another game idea like along with the bubbles uh, would be butterfly catching this entire game is going to be a little bit emasculating but uh, I don't know it's it's fun childish relaxing all good things also these if you notice these uh, the shrub shrubbery tree things here have a shader to make them kind of look like they're flowing in the wind a little bit. So I don't think these will work because they're particles. Um, and I don't know if maybe we want to have like a showcase of if the player catches a butterfly that maybe it goes in like a case for them to look at or something. <clears throat> And looking at these like stationary, you can tell they're just like a billboard, like quads. Are they uh, animations actually? Uh, an animated uh, sprite sprite sheet. Ah, yes, they are textures. Texture sheet. Okay, so I did I did already purchase that. Let, let me import it. Got a butterfly pack that I think might work for us. We'll check it out. Animated butterflies, and they're in the tune style also. It's kind of debating whether I wanted like kind of more real life butterflies to catch, where you, you could have like its actual name and everything. But I think this matches our 
theme pretty well. Anybody that's playing in VR doesn't necessarily care. It's probably not the right word, but care about realistic things in a game like this. <clears throat> Okay, there's controllers already, that's good. Import. It's kind of messy. I don't necessarily like how this is. How the project folders are all strewn about. Infinite Happiness is the asset that I'm using for the audio. Uh, it, it'll kind of play different audio. It has different kind of tracks and it puts the tracks together uh, in real time to make a different sounding game every time so that's pretty cool takes a little bit of processing power to make a brand new song on the fly but uh, I don't know it sounds really cool so twelve animated butterflies while we're here, let's make. I like to make a folder <clears throat> for asset store assets. I think that is one. Icons, infinite happiness, the UI, spawning pool. Of course, the butterflies are all asset store. All right, let's take a look at this. Sample scenes are always great. I don't. Did I change anything? Oh, we were just messing around. A group butterflies. Yeah, I think they look really good. Very butterfly y. Others playing here. Bunch of different kinds. Is it? Oh, their legs kind of look weird. What shader do they have? Alpha Blood did that. <clears> hmm. <throat> that might look weird. Let's see if we can fix that later. All the different colors. Yeah, I think they look good. Let's see what look like hmm well they look pretty good My question though is can we have one fly and not have it do its little animation like this like a preset animation I want it to be able to control it through the air so the player can catch it they look good though I mean like just having these on the ground or something if it wasn't like a butterfly catching game that would look really good
So that's the flying land. The idle. Okay. Idle. Yeah, we're going to have to do a different shape here. Have the wings clipping through each other. And what is the fly? No offset. Okay. Okay. I think that'll work for now. You might have a little uh little trouble having it like go up and down and stuff. But I think we could probably do it with nav mesh. Okay. Fix that, and then so inside here, uh, inside here, I took out a lot of objects and things because the player was stationary. Things that the player would never see, I took out. So I, I want to re-import the Tomb Garden. So it's, it won't look weird if the player goes over here and they see nothing over there, no path or anything. So I will import that. It shouldn't rewrite all this, but it'll probably rewrite the terrain, which is what we want. Kind of, hopefully. What's happening here? Trees are all way too big now. <clears throat> and then it was light map, so the light map would be done. Let's just clear the light map. This is all it was, eh? I guess we'll do that. Maybe it didn't redo the terrain. Redid the trees, that's for sure. Hmm. Huh. That's what it was. Okay. Well, we'll make some edits. Make it a little bit more custom. And like I said, we're going to switch from Oculus exclusive SDK to the Vive input utility. So we'll get into that next time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little introduction video. Again, this series is going to be kind of my day-to-day -day development process uh, put in video form. Uh, things will probably get more complicated. This is kind of just uh, just an introduction. So uh, if any of you have any questions or if there are questions as we go along, I can answer anything uh, pretty much. And uh, maybe if questions are more complex, I'll make uh, specific videos about them. Uh, hopefully you stick around uh, and thanks for watching.